So for today's WordPress tutorial, I want to get a little bit more advanced and show you how you can stylize your own contact form like the one I'm using on my own website. So that's uh, adding your own font and colors and even changing the background color and the border when you um, are active on a field and also changing the button when you hover over and go to sending your form and um, also even the messages what um, colors and kind of how you can customize it to fit your own brand so um, this contact form is using contact form 7 plugin so if you go to your wordpress dashboard and you go to plugins add new and search for contact form 7 and then activate it um, what you will have is this new contact um, menu item in your dashboard and if you click on that you'll see by default there is this contact form one uh, contact form already created so I actually am using the default I didn't change anything in the code I just copied it and then I w went to my contact page and I just copied it in the very bottom of the page so you'll see my page here so that's on my content and that's my short code so you can throw that into your visual editor or your text tab and uh, save the page and then when you go back to your page you'll have your contact form so it's not going to look exactly like this because this is the uh, style that I've added to the contact form so how you add your own style is you Traditionally, you use a CSS and you edit your themes um, CSS file, but if you don't have access to that, what you can use is your Jetpack plugin. So if you go to uh, plugins again, and then you search for Jetpack and install it, here it is here. And then what you wanna do is activate the CSS module. So if you go to Jetpack, and you scroll down here, you'll see this custom CSS. And once that is activated under your appearance, you'll have this edit CSS um, link. So click on that. And here is all the code that I have for my contact form. Now there's a lot of code here. Um, you can just copy and paste the code from my post and we'll just go in and edit the parts that need editing like the font and the colors. So um, I'm using a PT Sans font that I got from Google Fonts. Um, I'll show you how to edit the font in one sec, but first let's um, edit the colors. So let's try just a simple, um, how about black and white um, contact form. So um, to change this border, all the borders here to black, um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to look at the input fields. And um, to get a hex color, I use Photoshop, but um, if you want to figure out the hex color, um, you can go to this colorpicker.com and kind of pick out the color that you like. So um, for black, I know it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's black. So I'm going to copy that hex value and I'm going to go back here and paste it right here into uh, the input field. So now the border is two pixels. If you want a larger border, you can put maybe four or five, six pixels. And um, then the message area as well. I want to change the border on that one as well. So I'm going to change that. So um, now I'm going to save my style sheet, go back to my page, and refresh. So as you can see, all my um, fields are now black. So maybe now when I hover over it, I maybe want to change the border to another color. So let's go back to the color picker and maybe I'll change to a purple. So I'm going to copy that purple color, go back to my style sheet, and now I'm going to look for um, this section here, all fields when active. So this is, I'm gonna look for the border, 
and I'm going to replace it with that color. And now it also, there's a background color here that's a little bit off-white, which is kind of neat. But um, let's change it to, um, how about I'm going for like a light yellow here. And so I'm going to change when I focus on that field. I want to make the background color this yellow. And then I'm going to save my style sheet. Now when I go back and refresh, so now when I'm active, you'll see that I have um, the border is now that purple border that I picked and the background is now yellow. Okay, and how about the button? So the button, maybe let's use that same purple. So let's go back here and I'll use that purple, which is this color here. I'll copy it. So this is the send button area. So the background color I'm going to put to that. And the border color, I'll actually will make it the same color. Um, usually the border color is maybe something a little bit close to that color. So if you wanted to pick, um, if you want to go back here and I put in that purple, whoops. Maybe you want to pick a border color, move this up a little bit. Just really subtle and maybe pick a color like that for your border color. Actually, okay, let's do that. Um, border color. So I'll do something like that. Um, and then, whoops, that was the hover. Um, border, there it is. Okay, now on the hover, I'm going to make the background color black. So you need six, um, whoops, you need six values there. Um, so then I'll save that. If I go back to my contact form and refresh again, Now see my send button is purple and when I hover, I have black. Um, now if you wanna change this text up here, you can change that right here. Um, let's say the color is, I don't know, let's pick a blue. So I copied that color of blue and now I'm gonna paste it here and say. So there you go. So that's how you um, edit your or customize your own contact form. Now uh, something a little bit more advanced if you actually want to change the font of your contact form. So um, Google Fonts has a whole bunch of different fonts that you can use, a ton of great fonts. And um, actually on my blog, I use this one a lot, Montserrat. So I'll show you how you can use your own Google font as well. So if I click um, right here on this arrow, quick use, I get brought to this page. And if I click on the import, I copy this line of code. So then I go back to my editor and I'll just put it right underneath my other guy. So before I was using PT Sans and now this is Montserrat. And if I go back to Google Fonts, if I scroll further down, this shows me the CSS that I need to use. So I'm going to copy that whole line and I'm just going to replace all the lines where I have font family. Okay, so that looks like it's all of them. So now I'll save this style sheet. 
and now do refresh. And you'll see that the font changed just a little bit. Uh, before I had um, PT um, Sans and now I have Montessori. And um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I have for editing your own or styling your own contact form. If you like this video, then subscribe to my YouTube feed and I have new videos almost every week on different WordPress topics. If, you, if there's something you wanna learn about, then feel free to drop me a line and I'll see you next week.